Well, how do you do, everybody? Welcome to baseball action as the Nutrier Trevians take on the Highland Park Giants in cross conference play. The Central Suburban South Nutrier Trevians versus the Central Suburban North Highland Park Giants. We're here at Highland Park. Glad to have you with us for the game today. We're here at Walters Field. Uh, we're not going to have much of an audio, uh, ambient sound audio coming from the game because, uh, to be honest with you, we're in the press box and the students running it talked a lot. And then we also have the issue with the music. Sam Zacks fouls one off and then hits a ground ball. Deep short, the long throw, not going to be in time. Beat it out. And the infield single to lead things off. And Alex Galarco, the batter. Alex and... Comes in with a lot of rep. Swinging a bit straight. Sam Zacks on at first. And a high fly ball. Fished it a little bit. Taken by the center fielder for the out. And there's two, to, uh, one away rather. Ryan Casel, the batter. Top of the first inning. Here at Highland Park. And a ground ball. Shortstop has it. Long throw in time. On the play over to second goes Zach's. And here's. Charlie Brodell. And takes a pitch low for a ball. It's been a very strange year for baseball. I think the COVID season as uh, the missed season had a lot to do with uh, the development of players at all the levels. I mean, I ground ball, shortstop has it. Throw over to first in time, and we're done with the top half of the first inning. No runs, one hit. Nobody left, or one left, rather. We go to the bottom half of the frame, and... Uh, Weiner leading it off. I don't have first names, so uh, first names for Highland Park uh, didn't get access to more than their lineup card, so and then uh, Coach Newberger, that's all he gave me, foul ball. Highland Park, uh, to get on the website, to get the rosters, you have to get access from the school. High and outside of all. If I remember correctly, that might be because uh, of uh, some of the things they have on that roster. Outside of all. Andy Picar on the bound. This is actually the first game of a doubleheader, but like last week, we only do the first game on the network. Foul ball. I think that's because only this first game counts. You you can play a doubleheader. You, know, you can play as many games really as you want against the conference opponent. So little ground ball. And Mastro's over the first, not in time. And an infield single, kind of a swing and bunt. Perfectly laid and on top of that. Here spits. Strike. You can play as many games as you want, uh, you know, with a cross-conference opponent. Or for that matter, a non-conference opponent. But only one of the games 
cross-conference counts. And same holds true if you play conference, a conference opponent. During the regular season, only two count. Pitch a low ball. As Spitz flew out to right. Here's Dubin. Leo Miller behind the plate today. One of the few times uh, we have seen him on the network. And he gets away. It's going to be an error. Allow Weiner to go to second. Dubin the batter. Shooting through the screen and through the uh, windows of the press box. That's where that strange thing is on the, uh, just over the, the pitcher's mound there. That's a scratch on the uh, press, on the press box uh, window. Now they pitch outside of all. They, we've got a wind blowing in from the lake, making it a little bit cooler today. It wouldn't be warm anyway. It'd be in the, maybe in the low 50s. But with that wind coming in off the lake today, uh, it's dropping the temperature a little bit. It's not one of those cold biting winds, though. Little pop-up foul and taken by Leo Miller. Well, the second out of the inning, and here's Glickman. Outside of all, I've gotten to the age now, and I've been around sports so much when I see a last name, I'm always wondering if it's a son or a uh, grandson of one of the earlier players. It's the case here with Glickman, and I don't know. I mean, I'm not, I don't know if that is, if he is. There's a strike. Lock and load, and that's in there for a strike. So, run right second. And we do have two away here. And swing it up in strike three, and that be it for the first inning. At the end of one, no score between the two teams. Each team has one hit, and Nutria has an error. Other than that, everything pretty much the same. Here's Lewis Florida to lead it off, and he gets a pitch high and tight for a ball. And a straight. Island Park originally, their school nickname were the Little Giants. The first athletic director here was a graduate of Wabash College in Indiana. And they are also the Little Giants. And he just decided to call the the uh, Highland Park team the same name. And they were the Little Giants for many, many years. And have now simply become the Giants. They dropped the little end of it, the oxymoron of it. There's a high pop-up down the line, foul, and nice catch 
over there in the bullpen of the Giants for out number one. Here's Graham Mastros. And a ground ball. Second baseman knocks it down, and that's all he's going to get with it. A whoopsie. And now each team with an error. And Brendan Stressler, the batter. Strike one. We're here at Highland Park. Glad to have you with us on the network. All the way down the line. Whether on cable or the internet, fly ball. And left fielder takes it for the out. For out number two. And Leo Miller, the batter. And a strike, strike one. Next conference game for the Trevians is uh, Glenbrook South, the home home series. This one starting at New Trier. The look over, runner back. And three to the best, strike three. And we're done with the top half of the second. No runs, no hits, and error, and a man left. Go to the bottom half of the frame. And Cairo leading it off and takes a strike on the outside corner. Boy, this sumper is really demonstrative, isn't he? <laughs> strike two. Going to have to wait a while to see what that call is. And well outside of all. One and two. The Cairo. Lens on deck. Greenberg in the hole. Now the delivery. And that's outside of ball. Baseball moving along. New Trier. It's rather surprising. I don't know why the IHSA does this little pop-up. Well, I know why, but it doesn't make sense. Leo Miller takes it for the out. And one away. Here's Lenz. The uh, sectional seedings are already out, not the seating, but where you're going to play, you, you know, which sectional. And once again, kind of do Trier playing in a nor in the northeast sectional, and they play um, Loyola, Evanston, and so forth. But they also play Oak Park in the city teams. Uh, there's, I think, six or seven city teams. Ground ball right to uh, Lewis, Florida, the first baseman today for the out. Two, two down. Here's Greenberg. But why it doesn't make sense is that Glenbrook South and Glenbrook North and uh, some of the others are playing in, in a different region while Leiden, Oak Park, Fenwick are in the, in the sectional with Dutrier. So it, it, why? Ground ball and uh, out number one for the top of the third inning, uh, A.J. Steinbeck with that. Here's uh, Sam Zacks. That was like the year 
the IHSA in 2000, moved New Trier all the way over to play in uh, the Schomburg, playing uh, Schomburg that one year out at Frem. Two out as Zach's first to the pitcher covering. And two out quickly, and Alex Calarco, the batter. Well outside of all. And inside of all. I mean, it, it makes sense in that you don't want a sectional that is too uh, geographically focused, ground ball, second to first for the out. But on the other hand, you know, if you if in the 4A you've got, you know, eight, you've got uh, 32 teams, why not do it more geographically is, is my point. Or in this case, it's actually 33 teams. Foul ball. This is Kramer leaning it off. So we got a bit of strike three. I mean, I can understand. You know, it it, it would be like like Nutra and Loyola not being in the same sectional. And straight. Ground ball. And we're lofted. And then a collision at first base. And everybody's safe. Wow. I think the Highland Park coach was wondering why that wasn't uh, interference. But technically, they interfered with each other in, in a sense. And it really wasn't interference. It was just the result of the play, not a deliberate attempt. But Weber aboard via an error. And back to the top of the batting order. Here's Weiner for the Giants. And a strike. I was just watching a baseball game in my uh, archives with the coach of Highland Park. He actually played for the Wilmot Waves, the summer team. For Nutria. And those days, Evanston didn't have a separate team, so Charlie did play for the Wilmot Ways, so the first runner back. Pretty good catcher in his time. Again, to throw over there, runner back. Bottom of the third inning. Weiner the batter, runner on at first. And a line shot down the line. And Weiner going to hustle it up. I don't know why he kind of hesitated there at first base. That's really the job of that first base coach, I suppose, telling him to take second right away. Certainly has the speed for it. Runners at second and third. And spits the batter.
Just a couple of w weeks left to the regular season. Playoffs begin June 2nd, I believe. This year they're not doing like they usually do with the regionals and the sectionals, which is put them at one high school. So, you, you know, you had like your four regionals, and they're all, all the games are played at one high school. And then this year they're doing it with the higher seed, whoever the higher seed is will be playing, will have the home game. Now the pitch, swing and a miss, strike. Of course, this year is going to be very tough to see because everybody's running around 500. And when the Illinois High School Association puts together the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, whatever, 16 or 17 that are in a uh, sectional, So let's say it's 16, the top eight will get the first game, which can be rather interesting for the city teams that are in this group of there, the higher seed. Foul ball. And, of course, with the those west side teams, Oak Park, Fenwick, northwest side, Leiden, ball four, and the bases are loaded for the Giants. They've got something going here. Bases loaded and nobody out. Dubin the batter. And a straight. So, you know, somebody's going to get unlucky here, or two teams are going to get unlucky and have to travel from either the city all the way out to Oak Park, possibly, or North Suburb. We'll have to do that. Went fishing in the Skokie Lagoons for that one. High and outside. Swung at it, though, for a strike. Dubin bats. Yeah, so a little ground ball. And yeah, whoopsie. Everybody's safe and run home. And it's one nothing, Highland Park. Bases remain loaded for the Highland Park Giants. And here's Glickman. And the curveball worked, but it worked a little too well outside of ball. I don't know why I'm, I mean, I'm just mentioning how the sectional works, but actually our sectional isn't too bad. It's those, is the two subsectionals downstate for Class 4A. I mean, they're, they're, some of those teams really are going to be taking a hike. You know, they're going to have a two, three-hour drive. You know, downstate, you're going to have a team in Champaign have to play their regional game, their regional play-in game, for instance, at Edwardsville, which is over next to St. Louis. I mean, yeah, it's 
good expressway, uh, but still a long drive. Foul ball. Edwardsville's Metro East. Edwardsville, Collinsville, East St. Louis, Alton are all over in that area. Uh, strike three. Caught him on the outside quarter. That's out number two. And it's a big one with the bases loaded. I said with no outs uh, before they got their bases loaded with what out. Here's Cairo. And pitch high ball. Or make it a strike. Again, that slow signal. And a pitch high ball. Blackjack. On the count. And strike two. Deuces. Cairo popped out foul to the catcher, Leo Miller. Last inning. And outside a ball. We really have to be very fancy with our editing in this game. Or trying to be. And off the end of the bat. Ground ball. Florida had a little trouble with his footing. Managed to underhand it over to Picar for the out to end the inning. Here's running Queso to lead it off. And at the top of the fourth, one nothing now, Highland Park. Charlie Tilson sent me two insightful messages. This uh this week. Foul ball back. One uh was uh basically the metrics game. Velocity, now ground ball, and nope. Nice try by the third baseman, but the speedy Casel beats it out. Lead off single, and Charlie Brodell the batter. And the other one is uh, this nonsense about... Uh, Players being told to lift. There would, I, you know, that's going on in the majors too. Fly ball to center for the out. And I think that, you know, swinging for the fences and working to solely lift the ball. Lewis Florida sends one down the line. That's a fair ball. And Florida on his way to second. Turning on the afterburners, and Casel did too, and comes home with the run to tie it up quickly. And we're all tied up on two hits here in the top of the fourth inning. Graham Mastros, the batter. I don't care about exit velocity or pitching velocity. You can throw 95 miles an hour maybe, or 90 miles an hour at high school age, but the reality is
There's a lot more to the game than simply the velocity of a pitch or how hard you hit it and how high you hit it with that swing it for the fences routine strike on the inside corner. And I think it's been a disservice that uh, that's what is currently going on in the majors too and I think the majors are you know you emulate and when you emulate you're not doing what you need to do you're doing what they're somebody's telling you to do strike three by the way on Astros and Stressler with a fly ball back to the fence and take him for the out and we're halfway home with the ball game and the Trevians and Giants tied at one. Foul ball. Lenz leading it off. Lenz, Greenberg, and Kramer. Here's the line shot. Oh, great catch by A.J. Steinbeck. And... Left field. Kind of a diving catch out there for the out. That's one of the problems of shooting through the fence is that it will wreak havoc on the focus on the camera. I fly ball. And another nice catch. This one out in the center by Sam Zex. So quickly, two up, two down. And Kramer, the batter. So they're going to be a straight. I think the thing that uh, talking about players and, and whatever, you know, if you're trying to emulate somebody else or you're listening to a coach overly so, and, you know, that's kind of the big question. I think the biggest part of uh, any sports and any high school athlete particularly is to be yourself and to do what you do uh, and recognize that you're part of a team and, and doing, contributing the best you can in the way that you can. Fly ball out to center, taken for the out in the inning and trying to improve on what, on what you do and not pressing and overly, you know, well, make sure you lift the ball and make sure that you shave and haircut two bits. Leo Miller leading off here in the fifth outside of ball. So we're going to have a strike. A lot of the high schools this year with the uh, pandemic have also had problems getting players. And we've had, I don't think we've had the issue with baseball, but we certainly had it with football and we certainly had it with basketball. So I assume we're going to have it with baseball or had it with baseball. I just haven't heard about it. Strike three, and Miller out, out number one. Here's A.J. Steinbeck. A.J. with a little comebacker his last time up. Outside of all. Steinbeck with the dice catch. And the top of the frame. Inside of ball.
So we're going to miss Drake. And I was thinking uh, with, with Charlie Tilson, uh, when the scouts were talking to him, and whatever, I, I made a, just a brief little comment to him. I said, you don't know what those scouts are looking for. You don't know what their needs are and what they've been told and whatever. Swing and a single back up the middle for A.J. Steinbeck. So basically, just do what you do. Do the best you can at what you do. And a strike on uh, Zach's, he did go. You know, it, it, and and that's the same whether or not, you know, quote, unquote, you're getting noticed or you're just playing the game. You you can't be concerned about, oh, you know, the coaches are telling me that I have to do the, you know, well, we got a balk here. And a ground ball. So the roller, it's a swing and bunt. It's going to work to perfection. And Zach's aboard, runners at the corners with one out. Alex Calarco, the batter. You know, there's three intangibles. And I don't care what your metrics are. And what you've done on a in a showcase or whatever, there are three things that cannot be taught that either you got or you don't, and that's what they're looking for, really. The three things are determination, the drive, the 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 will to to day in and day out uh, put forth the effort to improve. Ball four. And Calarco aboard. And the bases are loaded with one out. And Ryan Casehold the batter. Number two is intuition. Either you know what you're doing or you don't. And a high bounder flipped the second out on the fielder's choice over the first dope. And coming home is A.J. Steinbeck with the go-ahead run. And Trevians lead it 2-1. to one. Here's Charlie Brodell. And Brodell, first pitch is clunked on the back. And Lewis, Florida, batting with the bases loaded. And it's a single right down the line or a base hit anyway, right down the line. It will be a single. They ended up colliding over there at first. But two runs home, and the Trevians now lead it. Uh, four. Four to one. Ground ball. Flip the second on the fielder's choice, and that'll do it for the inning. But in the inning, three runs on three hits. There was a walk, and two left. Go to the bottom half of the fifth, and Weber leading it off. There's a strike. And we've got ourselves a pretty snappy ball game here. Yeah, straight. I guess in all of what I'm saying here is that metrics and all that met metric stuff that's now such a big part of of uh, baseball, ground ball. Third to first.
It sounds all well and good, but it doesn't play the ball game. Knocked down by Florida, flips over to Picar covering for the out. And it's those intangibles that are the real character of a player. And the other thing that a lot of high school players don't realize is all this nonsense about getting noticed and whatever. Um, being noticed and being actually noticed is only that they see a potential and starting all over again. You know, you think what you were as a freshman, I think what you are now, ground ball. Nice play by Clerco behind second over the first, and one, two, three, no one, so hits two no but left. We played five, and it's 4-1 in favor of the Trevians. Top of the six, Brendan Stressler leading it off. He sent a deep one. Last time up to right field, but not quite deep enough this time. He's got another one out that way. And over the right fielder this time to the wall, and Stressler in with the double. You know, the Trevian right fielder leads it off with the double. And foul ball. Swing and a miss. Strike. Sam Harvey. And batting for Leo Miller. And ground ball. A little comebacker. Over to first. One away. And meanwhile over to third. Goes Miller, and here's A.J. Steinbeck. So runner at third with one out. There's a strike on the outside corner. Yeah. My point is... is uh, getting back to what I was talking about there briefly, was that uh, infield pulled in, by the way, looking for a play at the plate. Being noticed is only that they see potential. you got to start over and relearn the game, and what's tough is that getting noticed, uh, your ego gets in the way sometimes. I've seen a lot of them. I think there's a, that's what it is, is out in the bullpen, the protector is perhaps on the field even a little too far over. So we're going to be a strike. Strike three, and A.J. is out. Two down, back to the top of the batting order. Sam Zex, the batter. We're in the sixth down in a quickie ball game. Yeah, pitch high a ball. Went fishing in the Skokie Lagoons for a strike. For those of you watching who are far away, Skokie Lagoons is a swamp area. 
by uh, Duke Childs Field. New church. Fly ball by, to center field for the out to end the inning. No runs, a hit, and a man left. They had a runner at second with nobody out. Couldn't get him home. Go to the bottom half of the frame. Dubin leading it off. Takes a pitch outside of ball. So a little ground ball, second baseman. Throw the first in time. What a wait. And a high pop-up. Two pitches and two outs here. So two away. Cairo the batter. Takes a pitch low ball. And high and outside a ball. Trevians with three errors in this ball game. This is Drake. And two of them contributed to the unearned run that Highland Park has outside a ball. Foul ball off to the right. Yeah, you can get a pretty good windshield whacker at this place. And a fly ball on the giddy up. Nope, not going to get to it. Single. Here's Lenz. So run around at first. With two down, lends the batter. Driving the leading by three. And the bottom of the sixth inning. This is the anniversary of a five-inning no-hitter by... Ben Brick. Ben now at uh, Charleston, South Carolina in the minors. But Ben had a five inning no hitter against Niles West. And struck out 15. Follow back. Kind of the comebacker. And right back up the middle. Base hit single. Ben was known for being unhittable. Fly ball on the giddy up. Center fielder Zax has it for the out. And we go to the seventh with the new Trier Trevians leading this one four to two. And Alex Calarco leading it up. High and outside a ball. And fisted a little bit, fly ball, triangle shot. And left fielder takes it for the out, one away. Here's James Carabas. Takes the ball, ball one. 
Travis is batting for Ryan Cashel here in the top of the seventh. Outside of all. And fly ball on the giddy up. Going to be a gapper out there in left center. And Carabas into second with a stand up double. And here's Charlie Brodell. And a little pop up. Taken by the second baseman for out number two. And Lewis Florida, ground ball, shortstop has it. Throw to first in time, and that takes care of the top of the seventh. And the inning, no runs, a hit, and a band left. Go to the bottom half of the seventh. Giants. Last chance. No pitcher on the mound. And Jack Kramer to finish it off. And a strike. You know, one of the things about looking at a season and you say, oh, they're, you know, they're a 500 team or uh, they're 3 and 13 or whatever. You got a whole second season to go. Games in the regular season are just quizzes. And if you are continuing to improve, I mean, you can go far. Uh, I was that 2007? It must have been somewhere somewhere in there. St. Patrick High School in the city came in with a losing record, and I mean it was like six and seventeen or something like that going into the playoffs, and it ended up finishing in the final four. Pitch outside of ball. Ground ball, deep short, nope, and score that as a hit. So Kramer aboard. Here's Weber. Throw the first runner back. This field has been made over a couple of times. Line shot, fair ball right down the line. And another single and two on with Nobody out. Here's Weiner. And a strike. He sent that clean, hot double down the right field line back in the third inning and brought home the only Highland Park run of the morning in real time. And the pitch is low and outside of all. Somebody's car alarm, whoever it was. Got, got it quickly. Runners at first and second.
this ballpark now right up against the parking lot, kind of like Nutrier. Bases are loaded, and nobody out. Here's Spitz. Man, a strike. Number two in the batting order for the Giants. And fly ball, center fielder backing up a little bit, and Zach takes it. That'll work as a sacrifice fly, and it's now a 4-2 ball game. And Dubin, the batter, he sends a pop-up. And taken by Florida in fall territory for out number two. And a strike on the outside corner. So two out. And two out. The tying run on base at first. Mastros looks back to second and a high pop-up. I'll give chase, but won't get to it. Out of play. Could have been a windshield whacker. I think it fell a little short, though. So maybe on the bounce. I think uh, having had a balk called against him earlier in the game, I think Coach Newberger trying to pitch outside the ball. I think Coach Newberger was trying to uh, rattle Mastros and at the same time make his point about, well, if you're going to call a balk on us, you should call one on them. There are two teams out there. Yeah? Strike three in the ball game is all over. Final word on this game for Nutrier. Four runs, eight hits, three errors. They were struck out four times, walked one, seven left on base. And for the Highland Park Giants, two runs, six hits, one error. They were struck out three times, two walks, seven left on base. So that'll do it for us for today. New Trier winning it 4-2 to two over the Highland Park Giants. Join us for our next game on the network. New Trier Trevians taking on the Glenbrook South Titans in conference play. And for all of us here at the network, we say as always, thanks for watching and so long, everybody. This has been a Metro Chicago Sports Network copyrighted presentation, all rights reserved.